Hey, my horror friends, and welcome back to the mortuary. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Again, this is going to be a non-spoiler review on this movie called Making Monsters that was released in 2019. But before we get into that, make sure you turn on the little notification bell here so you know when I go live or I upload a new video. Also, if it's your first time here, make sure you stab that subscribe button, slashy slashy that like button, and let me know down below, what do you think of my videos? Is there a movie that you would like me to review? Is there a reaction that you would like me to do? Please let me know. Um, for those of you just stumbling in here, I am Reanimate Her, the Queen of Scream, and this is Fusa. Uh, you'll get to see Fusa in quite many of my videos and in my live stream. If you haven't checked my live stream out yet, please check it out over on twitch.tv forward slash reanimator. Now, we are going to get into this movie, but first we're going to go and watch the trailer. So let's go and do that right now. Hi, Fusalini. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Christian Brand. Chris Brand. Chris Brand. Christian Brand the mastermind YouTube sensation with 10 million YouTube subscribers. That's a pretty big deal. How does that even happen? When a couple decides they're going to have fertility treatment, the key is to eliminate any unnecessary stress. <laughs> We should make this weekend like a location scout for the wedding. You mean use Jesse's place? Yeah. If it's cute. Real celebrities. In my church. God bless. Why is he so weird? I think he's kind of funny. Hey guys, what did you think of that trailer? Uh, yeah, so I was bored last night and I was surfing the Amazon Prime on my Xbox and I stumbled upon this and I read the, the synopsis of it and I'm like, making monsters, interesting, I never heard of it before. Uh, so it's about a social media prankster and his fiance find their country weekend turned into the ultimate video prank where the stakes are life and death. Uh, this was written and directed by Justin Harden and co-directed by Rob Brunner. Um, I tremendously enjoyed this film. I had a great time. I know, Fusa. I know. You want lovin's. Please lay down. Anyways, this film was awesome. The acting was great. I really enjoyed watching this. I'm, I, I'm actually enjoying the many, many content creator horror movies out there if you guys don't haven't seen much of that lately it's coming where content creators are being put into horror movies uh for example superhost if you missed my review on superhost please go and check it out it is definitely in the links um uh, go and check that out check the movie out check my review out it's a non-spoiler yet again because i don't like spoiling you guys well i mean i love spoiling you guys but i don't like spoiling the movie for you guys Anyways, like I was saying, the acting is great. The actress and the actor were awesome. I love horror prank videos. Uh, I, Being a content creator on YouTube myself, this really, I was able to relate to it. Uh, the practical effects in this film, mwah, chef's kiss, man, was great. The makeup is awesome. The storyline I quite enjoyed, quite enjoyed. Um, the... Violence that is in this film, there is plenty of it, like right off the bat, the opening scene. Honestly, the opening scene, as you can tell, uh, if you watch the trailer, there is some crazy shit in this. And yes, the opening scene comes right out of the gates like a like a wild horse. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, there is some really cool death scenes as you get further into the movie. Um, there is some comedy in here as well. I think everybody did a great job. 
uh, hats off to the cast and crew. Like, seriously, what a great film. This is another underrated title that I guarantee you half of you haven't even heard of. And it's a shame because this was an actual really, really, really good film. Look at me gushing over here. Um, but it was. It was a good film. Uh, I, I There was a few things that I thought were, okay, a little wonky, but makes sense. Makes sense. And I don't want to say anything because it will give away some info. And I don't want to do that with you guys. I want you guys to watch it for yourself. But I would love to know what you guys thought of it. I do. I would love to know down below in the comments what you thought of this film after you see it or if you've already seen it uh, to have a discussion about it. You know I love discussing horror. Uh, so here is my film that I think you need to go and add to your watch list and check it out this weekend. The spooky season is upon us. All right, guys, I got to get Fusa off me here. She's uh, I'm going to be a white, white. My black shirt's going to be friggin' white, white, white. Anyways. Anyways, if you haven't already done it, make sure you turn that notification bell on. I love your guts. Until next time, my creepies, creep it real, and I will slash us all later. Bye bye Say bye bye Fusa. Say bye bye She ain't gonna say bye bye <laughs>